Back now to weather. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Scott Padgett. I know you're tracking a couple of severe storms. That's right. We now have a new severe thunderstorm warning we told you about a few minutes ago, but this is for the Collin County area, Rockwall also into Hunt County until 11 o'clock. So let's go ahead and zoom our way on down to this storm. This is the newest severe thunderstorm warning that we have in place. And the biggest factor is the potential of some large hail. So zooming our way down, you can see that darker black color showing up again. So you know that that means we might be dealing with uh, some larger hail showing up. Let me go ahead and pinpoint exactly what we might be having. So this is marble size to penny size. This has come down over the past probably three to four minutes because at one point you can see it was up to the size of a walnut. So uh, the hail size coming down just a little bit, but that's why we did see that severe thunderstorm warning prompted. So let me switch back on over to reflectivity. You notice the latest scan that's right there, but near Nevada right now, State Highway 78 South, right along North FM 1138. When you're right to the west of Josephine, that's where we do have the hail showing up. I'm going to track that area, and this is moving fast. It is moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. So if you do live in the Clinton area, 1029, Floyd, 1031, Wagner, 1035, and Kellogg at 1040. That is with this storm that is now at severe limits in the southeast sides of Collin County, making its way quickly off towards the north and the east. Still seeing a severe thunderstorm warning for the southeast sides of Dallas County, right near Hutch. You're able to see right near Cleveland Road where it meets 45. Uh, you can see that black color showing up again. So let me switch on over, sample some of the hail here, and possibly hail up to the size of a golf ball right near Whit Road uh, to a half dollar size just to the south near East, East Pleasant Run Road. That's where we're dealing with some of the larger hail. Uh, let me go and widen this out just a little bit more. This storm has slowed down a little bit. It is moving to the east at 25 miles per hour. So I'm going to track the hail core uh, making its way off to the east at now 25. Uh, it's going to be in Riley at 1034, the Kleberg area 1036, Seagaville around 1046. So these storms have held together as we've gone over the evening hours. And as you're able to see from west to east, that's the action, at least for the one in the south sides of Dallas County and then the one in parts of Hunt County. I'm sorry, moving into Hunt County, also Collin County, also is racing its way to the northeast. As we switch on over to Max, too, to show you exactly what's happening uh, as far as the rain and the storms are concerned, we've seen a large amount of rain in some spots, so there's an aerial flood advisory for Hood, Johnson, Parker, Tarrant County until midnight. And the reason is, in some spots, just over six hours, we've picked up as much as three and a half to almost four inches of rain. So those typical low line spots that collect the water, they're going to be flooding for tonight. Uh, and maybe some of that water on the road. Ways as well. Into tomorrow morning, still some rain around, more showers and storms possible into the afternoon, possibly borderline severe limits going into tomorrow afternoon. There is that marginal risk of severe weather. So the wet weather is here for us. We do have another cold front moving through only the mid 60s for Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday, still some rain sticking around, but then by the end of the week, the sunshine returns. And for the beginning of the weekend, we have partly cloudy skies in the low 80s. Then we have a return of storms on Sunday and Monday, Brooke.